three. Three best things about school are what we do here. We, do, we have recess, we have recreation, we have meals, and we have music. One and two and... Making music among Mother Nature is at the heart of this summer camp. Set among 2,500-year-old Sonoma County redwood trees, two hours north of San Francisco, the Casadero Performing Arts Camp has been turning novice musicians into seasoned performers for 50 years. You could do this in an auditorium or in the city, but why here in Casadero? Well, imagine, imagine you're a youngster and you can sleep out on the deck and uh, the stars at night, these trees are immense and beautiful. We just thought it was beautiful, and uh, this would be a great place to start a music program in the summertime. How do you play? Music aficionado Bob Lutt was a music teacher at Berkeley High School when he started the camp in 1907. Over the years, it's grown to give kids, grades 5 through 12, an intense one to two week training in their musical field. Each session ends with a grand finale performance in the amphitheater named after Bob. We have ensembles where the youngsters can play with a string quartet or a, a brass quartet or a piano. There you go. We have a guitar program, orchestra, a band, uh, and this session all camp choir. In the afternoon, they have recreation. And do they have to have experience to come to this camp? They have to, at least at the, at the young, younger session, be able to play scales and read music. 85 students attended the first camp in 1957. Since then, more than 100,000 students have passed through these redwoods. I like getting up here and being out of the city. It's quieter, too. Flautist 12-year-old Rose Dodgen is a return camper. It's a little like harder work, they work you a little harder, but it's sort of more fun than playing for school. This first time camper is already a fan. He encourages up and coming musicians to find their way to the forest. And being from San Francisco, I think of these huge redwood trees. It's cold <laughs> and they're pretty intimidating when you look at them, but they're kind of cool looking. How tall are these redwoods? Redwoods are about 250, 300 feet. How tall are you? I'm 6'5", so <laughs> yeah, it's... it's Jim Mazzaferro is the camp's director. Once upon a time, he played below these giants. I was a camper here in 1970, and uh, that was it. I just said, this is what I want to do with my life. What was it about this camp? Everybody here spoke the same language. Everybody loved music. Every, the teachers loved music. The conductors loved music. And it's just a great place to be, and it's a great place for kids, and it's a great place for music. The camp's contagious enthusiasm and serene setting are hard to beat. For its founding father, half a century later, it's his ideal getaway. There's nowhere else he'd rather spend his summer. Thank you very much for coming, and uh, we look forward to your concert. It's sort of a labor of love. I just hope it goes another 50 years. By the way, to celebrate the camp's 50th birthday, they're having a 50-year reunion. So if you're an alumni, a camper, a counselor, or a conductor, you might want to mark the date Sunday, July 22nd from 12 to 5 on your calendar at the camp in Casadero. And if you want more information, log on to our website, cbs5.com slash eye on the bay for all of the info and stay tuned as our celebration of music in the parks continues we're going to tell you about a great weekend outing for the family that's next